if I remember correctly, we should be going to World 3, because once again, the Arbalist is right there. Ah, oh, man, we gotta keep autoplay on. Oh, well. Yeah, autoplay for the first stage, now rental unit, then a 7 chain for the second. Okay. I'm gonna have best girl Saki there. More invaders. Or the bridge. We're out of the gate. Wait, wasn't Benkei actually that's a good question. So based on the translation, even the even the translator's questioning is like wouldn't he be in Shin Getter right now? Because, you know, Ryoma ran in with Shin Getter. But, based on what this is saying, each part has its own writer that adds on to the story. So my guess is this writer didn't realize at the end or didn't even pay attention that Shin Getter ran straight deep into that um gate first. And oh well. Hey, it's squad at the gate. No readings nothing in the vicinity other than our own ships. The Oceanus has also passed through the gate. What's our current position, Taurus? We're off the coast of Tanagashima, sir. In the Kyushu region of Japan. In this world, Japan is a neutral territory that belongs to neither the Earth Alliance nor Zaft. <gasps> the gate has just disappeared. Hmm? Captain Bright, it looks like there are several small islands in the surroundings that someone could use to hide. Should we search should we search them just in case? Yes. Let's do that. We're in the briefing room. Our immediate goal is to search for Dr. Satomi and eliminate any invaders. In order to do so, we require the cooperation of another force. As Dark Angel belongs to the Earth Alliance, obtaining their assistance would prove difficult. In other words, we'd have to go to Mithril for help. We share a mutual goal as organizations that seek to stamp out pointless conflicts. And so far, they have proven themselves trustworthy. They have. I am of the same mind. Then I'll begin talks with Mithril after this and confirm the state of this world. Does anyone have anything else to discuss? How are we going to handle Shingetter? I would like for you, Ryo Nagare, and Lieutenant Colonel Jin to pilot Shingetter together. Is that agreeable, Mage Kuruma? Didn't think I'd be coming back to the pilot seat like this. Understood, sir. Shouldn't get her. It looks like they have it under control. But is it really okay for us to use it? What about Go? I'd heard he was sleeping. We'll decide what to do about him once Dr. Hassan finishes the examination on him. I believe Lieutenant Colonel Jin is familiar with him? Yeah. This seems to involve a lot more than just K. And has K settled down at all? Yeah, for now. But I still like her to have some time off. Understood. And we'll leave matters pertaining to go up to Lieutenant Colonel Jin. Roger. We're at the hangar now. There we go. Here's good, right? Yeah, I have to say. It's nice having a guy with your muscle to help me out. Hey, I'm just happy to be of help. Good to hear. If the pilots see us looking exhausted, they would be able to fight with a clear conscience. Yeah, I gotcha. We gotta do what we can, right? That's a good attitude to have, guy. Guy, Mr. Shishio. Oh yeah, you guys have the first, same first name. Although one of you is Guy, and the other is Guy. So what's up? Has Galeon give, been giving you any trouble? Nothing like that. When I heard there, when I heard there was someone with the same name as me, I just thought I'd come talk to them. I see. All right, then let's take five. Um. You really didn't have to come over here just to see me, Mr. Guy Shishio. This guy is good enough for me, guy. Besides, it's an honor to speak to the son of the person they call Getter's Mechanic Man. Ah, oh, gee, thanks. But you don't have to talk all that fancy with me either. Alright then, 
So how'd you wind up coming aboard the Rock Island? Well, it was Lieutenant Colonel Jin's idea. It's not good to support K in Major Karuma's place, he said. I'm still men and all, even if just barely. I see you're brave yourself. Huh? A brave person. Of course, you don't have to be a member of GGG to be brave. Anyone can be brave. All you need is to have courage in your heart. You chose to come here despite the danger it would put you in. That's an undoubtedly brave thing to do. It's not something that grand. I'm just reckless of anything. I'll tell you that reckless just alone won't be enough to see you through a fight. What do you mean? I can tell in your heart that you want to fight, guy. That's how I want you to heed my advice now. Yeah, you might be right. Worth the sick bay. What are the results of Girl's medical examination? Nothing yet normal. He seems totally healthy. I see. Hmm. It's about time you explain this, Saito. Just who is Go? I order. Oh, yeah, he's then. Whatever. I ordered everyone else out of the sickbay, even Dr. Hassan. It's just you and me here, so talk. Go was a clone. A clone? He, not just any clone. He was created from the fusion of Dr. Satomi's cells and that of his daughter, Michu Satomi, which were then exposed to getaways rays in order to give birth to a new kind of human. What? The doctor of Michu's cells? That means he had the cells of K's father and sister, yes. That is why his instincts demand he protect K. How could Dr. Satomi do some, something like this? Do you remember the incident with Michiru? I could never forget! During combat training with Keter Robo G, Michiru was... Yes, that accident was the start of it all. The invaders had already begun their attack at that point. What do you mean? An invader parasite had already, had already dug itself inside Michiru's body. Then when Michiru realized it had happened during the combining training, she took matters into her own hands before the invaders could take over. That accident wasn't a... No way. That can't be. Satomi, Satomi, Dr. Satomi came to realize the truth during Michu's autopsy. That the invader's invasion had already begun. With no way to know how, who, who could be infected by the invaders, the doctor searched for a way to oppose them on his own. I, I see. And it could be that even then... Sorry about that, everyone. The downside of working all day. So... Hold on. I'm trying to get back into this. I, I see. They, it could be even then. Dr. Stinger and Dr. Cohen were already... There's no way to know for sure. And so, unable to trust anyone, the doctor faked his own death and began studying ways to fight the invaders in secret. That's how Ryoma had to be made to look like a murderer? If you learned about the invaders, it would have only made the situation worse. But, but with Ryoma isolated in an A-class prison, the chance of him being affected by the invaders was low. That's what makes Ryoma a trump card. But that's just... that is going. This is going too far. I assisted the doctor as best as I could. We went on to create Shin Getter and Shin Gr Dragon to stand against the invaders. But Shin Dragon was too powerful. If the, if the invaders use its power for themselves, Mankind is doomed. You made something that dangerous? Go was born precisely because it was so dangerous. He is the key to awakening Shin Dragon. If he isn't awake, the Shin Dragon will remain dormant. And with Go being created with Getter Rays, we won't have to worry about him ever being affected by an invader. So that's what Go was created for. It was an act worthy of punishment by God, but so long as it was for humanity's survival, not even that would stop us. But but now, Dr. Satomi has been taken over by invaders. That means they know everything. Yes, that should be the case. However, what do you mean? Dr. Satomi went out of his way to entice Ryoma to pilot Shin Getter. What are you trying to say? If Dr. Satomi isn't under the invaders' control? That's not possible. His physical abilities are beyond that of what a human can do. If I had to guess, forget it. Going off a guess is far too risky. Our number one concern right now should be to stop Dr. Satomi. Will you tell any of this Ryoma? 
What about you? Are you going to? I can't tell them this. Of course not. But Captain Bright needs to know. Especially if Gil's going to be on board the ship from now on. I agree on that point. And if possible, Gil should receive training to become a pilot like Guy has. He'll be treated as a pilot in training. Forget her? Having spares could come in handy. You're right. Forgive me, Rielma. When all this is over, I'll be sure to tell you everything. We're at the bridge of the Rock Island. We received the communication from Mithril's Tuatha de Danan, sir. It's strange it took them so long. This is Commander Richard Henry Marcus, Executive Officer of the Tuatha de Danan. Captain Bright Noah, Captain of the Rock Island. Is Captain Tessarosa there? At present, the Captain is not at her post. Hmm. In regards to your ship appearing in our world once more... Hmm? Invaders approaching. They're coming in fast from dead ahead. Hmm? My apologies, Commander Mardukas. We're going to be answering battle soon. We'll have to contact you again later. Understood. Yeah, this only needs autoplay it. Guidance. We've confirmed that Getter Dragon isn't here. I guess Dr. Sao Tomi isn't with them? He could be lurking somewhere. He could be lurking here somewhere. But for now, we need to deal with any potential threats we happen across. All units, launch! We didn't find any evaders last time we came to this world. Could Dr. Sao Tomi... Sorry, yeah, could Dr. Sao Tomi be watching us from somewhere? Then he ought to show up once we grind these guys into pulp. So we just gotta let it go. This time I brought Saki in. And then Hito and Aleluya should be able to easily finish these guys. Aw, oh, dang it. I forgot I had the animations on. Ah, oh, well. Vulcans. So these guys stick with this to get the point. I do respect on how they modernized some of the 80s designs to make them. I guess it's all about the shading and coloring, honestly. Because remember, most of these designs were made in the 80s, 70s, etc. You know, 90s. But the shading makes them look nicer. Like, look at that. She's from the 80s. It just looks so nice. And we got the current era anime characters with their multicolored eyes and everything. Yeah, we're going through this quickly. Saki and Ali are an amazing team together. It's too bad I, I kind of gave up on using Haruto. I just don't like him as much as I like um, what's called Valver. Well, I guess it makes sense that the later unit's better than the beginning unit. If you look at it from a more competitive standpoint, the Gyujin easily destroys the Barbatos in terms of stats at max level in this game. Which is why the Barbatos needs its uh, final form. But they ain't giving us that final form anytime soon. How's this? Oh yeah, the sickle. No, nope. Never mind. Iron bullets. Oh, 
I'm taking care of the wall right there. We're detecting more invaders from the coast. It's just one after another. These invaders are annoying are so annoying. Not good enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I can't get any of that stuff. The numbers just keep growing. They can multiply at a cellular level extraordinarily fast. They can also assimilate with other life forms. In other words, they've taken in the surrounding sea life. Now's not the time to be worried about the ecosystem. They'll eat you alive if you don't watch yourself. Send them packing. Okay, let's kill these guys real quick. Dang, that's not even strong enough. I gotta use it at this one though. What's well, 14,000 over, so that's gonna be out of the least trans and probably. Yep. Dang it, it's so small this attack. Dang it. So you'll be able to invade one of the best girl's attacks. Yeah. Yeah, we made all three this time. Where are you, old man? Sal told me. Get out here already. Taurus, can you detect that any more invaders in the combat zone? No, sir. They've all been wiped out. Now that bastard's got cold feet. He dove into the gay with some kind of object and objective in mind. This attack may have just been to buy time. We're in trouble if the invaders are already multiplying in this world. Yeah, all three this time. Got a lot of guys to sort through when I got the actual free time to go through my inventory. Alright. I see. I now have an understanding of the circumstances that led you back to this world. Do you intend to pursue this, Dr. Saotomi? If we are able, but that will be difficult to accomplish acting on our own. Commander Arducus, regarding Dr. Saotomi and the invaders, I'll inform my superiors of this. However, tracking down Saotomi may prove difficult. Hmm. Is that due to Captain Tesserosa's absence? Banjo. My apologies. I shouldn't have asked about a delicate matter like that. No, I think it would be best to inform you. Captain Testerosa is... Yo, isn't this when she goes on vacation? Ah, finally back in Japan. 
Thought I'd never be back after you guys dropped me to Marita Island. Although we haven't told her yet. Chidori's return to Japan is only temporary. After some counseling, it was determined that after traveling on a long voyage to parallel worlds and being unable to adjust to her life, she had begun to build up stress unconsciously. Coming here is supposedly to remedy that. As far, but as far as ensuring her physical safety goes, safeguarding her on Marita Island as planned would be the most logical thing to do. Is there some other reason I'm aware, unaware of? I hope everyone in the Archangel is okay. I know they made it to Orb safe, but... Jittery. The situation with Orb is top secret. Don't speak about it openly like that. Oh, that's right. It, sh it took so much for them just to get into that country. Sorry. You're a civilian, Chidori. You don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. Just forget about it. You know, it's not easy to just forget. We're friends that have traveled through parallel worlds together, after all. Or what? Now that it's... Oh yeah, or what? Now that it's... Not that it's now that it's not part of your job and you're off the shit. You don't care about them anymore. No. I have a great respect I have a great respect for the people I have fought alongside. The crew of that ship in particular. They did exceptionally well despite not being regular soldiers. Yeah? I guess so. But they really have gone through a lot. They have. Hey, how about I make you something to eat? Why? Come on. Remember that time when a demon took me over? You saved me then, didn't you? I still need to properly thank you for that. Oh yeah, because that was in-game. That's the first time he uses the Lambda Driver. Like, he has the animation and everything. I wasn't the only one who rescued you then. There was... Yeah, yeah. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Look, don't say no to someone when they're doing something nice. I mean, it's not like you ever eat anything good anyways, right? That's not you at all. It may not look like it at first. It may not look like much at first glance, but I've calculated all the necessary calories and nutrients necessary to complete my mission. Yeah, I've already decided. Okay, see you later. Uh. Hmm. Now in front of his, in front of his apartment complex. Why did Chidori suddenly say those things? It's true that I rescued her, but still. Hmm. Huh? There's evidence that someone has broken into my apartment. And they're still inside. Hmm. Now he's in his room. Don't move! <gasps> Raise both hands slowly. Sagara. Ah. Oh, thank goodness. You're an enemy. It would have been all over for me. Captain? Hmm. Who's that boy? Actually... Eh. They're gonna end it right now because I'm gonna make the next part the full ending to part two. That'd be a smarter thing. Yeah, next part is when we finish part two. I made this lower part because might as well give you guys a breather from these 44 minute parts. So, thank you all for watching. Until the next part, goodbye.